Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I think this episode 182 or 183, somewhere in there. Um, this is what we're gonna start doing on the show now. Is we're gonna just upload Venom Vlog episodes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday moving forward. I'm trying to get things down to a better schedule, and then also so you guys kind of know when to expect videos because uh, you know obviously I just randomly throw out videos whenever I have free time because of work and everything and it might be hard sometimes for me to stick to the schedule but I'm going to do the best I can because the goal is to have a definitive schedule and maybe one a very more you know a lot more precise one at some point where I can say all right this day on this time uh, but right now we're just going to stick to the days so on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays unfortunately at any time in that 24 hour span uh, you will get videos chances are you'll get them in the morning before I go to work so you'll probably either get them before noon or around midnight uh, so those are gonna be like the two time frames that you could get videos uh, unfortunately that's just the best I can do with my my you know 40 hours a, a week work schedule uh, and then traveling to work and then you know, and all the other things I got to do with life so uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll either throw up like a spawn video if I have a spawn video or a crow video if I have one of those uh, but mostly those will be like the seek and destroy gaming streams um, I know those don't get a lot of views but I do like having them on this channel just to have other content other than just Venom stuff. And plus I talk about other things on there like, you know, movies that I've seen, uh, comic books that I've read. So if you're wondering what my opinions are on other things that are happening, uh, you'll probably hear them on those episodes. Uh, but today what I want to do is I just want to talk about just some random Venom things that I didn't feel like making whole videos on. Uh, but I just thought were cool enough to talk about uh, two of them in particular that are on social media that I saw. Uh, one of them that was sent to me by one of you guys. Um, and then also we'll talk about... Uh, the new previews magazine that talks about all the new Venom stuff coming up in August. Uh, we did talk about some of this before, but now that we have definitive release dates for some of these trade paperbacks and items, I figured now would be a good time to dive into it. So the first thing I want to mention, obviously this is not a officially licensed anything. It's just something I saw online, like I think about four or five days ago uh, in my Facebook feed, and I just thought it was hilarious. Uh, and it's this video here. It's uh, the Venom Cheese. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. If I can find a link to where you can find it, I'll, you know, I'll put it down below. This just randomly popped up in my feed, so I recorded it on my phone. And I just thought it was interesting. Uh, so, the, you know, I know it's not the best quality, but you could kind of see it's like some restaurant. Um, I think, I don't know, on the East Coast or mid Midwest somewhere. I don't I don't remember where it was, uh, but they like make this cheese and they kind of like uh, pepper in charcoal or something like that into it to add the color. And it's just drips like, you know, it doesn't look exactly symbiote like. But the fact that they call it venom cheese just makes me feel really good knowing that someone at this restaurant is a Spider-Man fan and a Venom fan, apparently. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty neat. So uh, check that out. I thought that was just weird. Uh, would you try that? You know, I'm sure if I lived near this restaurant, just for you guys, I would go and, and eat it on an episode and uh, and tell you about it. I would definitely do that. But unfortunately, I'm like nowhere near uh, where this restaurant is. Uh, sadly, I'm out here in California, so I'm not really uh, close to them. But uh, if any of you guys are in this area, uh, like I said, I'll try to pop on screen where this restaurant is, or if you haven't seen it in the video, and uh, you know, please go try it. You know, send me a picture of you trying it or something and I'll definitely uh, feature it on an episode of the Venom vlog. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, something that Eddie's mullet sent to us. Uh, he is a, uh, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel of his own. I haven't uh, checked that checked that out, uh, but I will still put a link to his channel down below if you want to subscribe to him or make a friend. Uh, but he's a really nice guy. I think he came over from RNS Entertainment uh, when, when he gave me a shout out and uh, I think he came over from there and every once in a while he pops in, leaves a comment or, you know, in this case dropped a link to something called the Venom Rap. And uh, I don't want to play the song or do a trailer react or like a video reaction to it. I know I do that for the Seven Dust stuff, but I don't mind if those ep episodes are not monetized uh, or ever get monetized because, you know, it's my love of Seven Dust and, and it's kind of just for that. Uh, and plus, I don't make those videos every day. Venom blog stuff, I make, you know, four to five, sometimes six or seven a week. And I kind of want these the best to my ability to stay monetized uh, in case our channel, you know, when it's done with review, it still is not, you know, it's still not been fully reviewed yet. So I haven't been remonetized. It, and I don't know if I will be or not, so I'm hoping I will. And if so, I want all these Venom vlogs, or at least as many of them as possible, to not get flagged for copyright, in, in, you know, infringement or anything. And plus this guy, you know, he's an indie creator, and I, I don't want to, like, you know, step on his, you know, hard work either. So uh, so at the same time, I'm just going to put a link down below to his uh, his rap. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's, it's very, like, it reminds me of there's this uh, uh, Above the Law. It was this, like, hip-hop group in the 90s, and uh, they did a song for the Crow 2 soundtrack. 
and uh, and it's very like you know like they put in things like you know I'm gonna avenge myself like the crow you know and they like they speak in terms of knowing that the world exists in a way and uh, and so that's kind of what this is it's someone who's literally writing a song a rap song from the POV of Eddie Brock and the symbiote and it's actually pretty good I actually liked it a lot so I you know I'm gonna just put a link down below I won't play a sample or anything here just trust me on this check out the description box and I'll put it down there click on that and watch that guy's video tell him the Venom vlog sent you tell him Eddie's mullet sent you um, and uh, you know give that guy some love subscribe to his channel if you want he does a lot of cool rap uh, videos over there all right and the last thing we're going to talk about real quick is previews magazine now if you are near a local comic store uh, and if you're not you know make sure you find one uh, if you don't know if you are or not make sure you find one go to comicshoplocator.com I'll have a link to that below and uh, you know try to find the nearest comic store to you if you're not too far away definitely visit it uh, try to support it if you can these are you know small businesses privately owned all of them it's not like there's you know there's a couple chain comic stores but still even those you know have like you know a single person running the whole thing and uh, it's a very tough business you know comic book sales are you know not doing so well and there's many reasons why obviously and I'm not going to get into that debate because I feel I feel like it both everyone who gets in that debate it just comes across really whiny on both sides uh, but there but Ultimately, what it is is there's an interest level. I think a lot of people out there um, are more interested in seeing the movies, are waiting for those adaptations, and they don't, you know, want to read the comics. And uh, and I I try to push that as as much as I can, not just for literacy's sake, uh, but also there's just a lot of you know a lot of great stories that don't get turned into movies and uh, or are trying to become movies and that might never become movies. And they you know definitely deserve your time and money if you have uh, any to spare. Uh, but for today, we're going to talk about um, the, the Venom stuff coming out in, uh, in August. And this is a previews magazine. These are like a dollar. Some of them are free. Uh, this one's free, uh, the Marvel one. Uh, you can get at your local comic store. And they just list everything that's coming out in two months. And it gives you, I think, about five, four weeks or so to order them. So you can go to your local comic store, grab one of these, flip through them, circle what you want, and then tell your local comic shop to add it to your pull list or to make sure they order it for you if it's a graphic novel or a statue or a toy or something like that. And that helps sales on comics because most comic stores, they're like, all right, Venom's coming out number five. Uh, no one's pre-ordered it or added it to their pull list. So I'm just going to order 10 copies. And, uh, and you know, and if those 10 copies sell, great, I'll order 10 next month. And that's how most comic shop owners you know, think because they have to. They have to, you know, be to the penny almost, and, and you know, to the point where they can make a little bit of profit, and they don't just sit on books. Uh, but if you go in there and say, "Hey, I want one of these," then they'll go, "Okay, I'll order an eleventh copy for that person," or they'll go, "Oh, that statue, I wasn't going to order it because I'm not sure it's going to sell." So, uh, but if you go in and say, "Hey, I want to pre-order that statue," they'll order it for you. So it, it, you know, comics are completely dependent on you going in and asking for them specifically and that's the only way they sell for, for the most part uh, yet otherwise the comic store will order a couple in fear of them not selling uh, and then that's how you know books get canceled and books go away and things like that uh, so you know try to support if you can uh, especially this Venom stuff if you're a Venom fan we have Venom first host uh, that issue number one is going to come out in um, in August, and it's by Mike Costa, Mark Bagley. We've talked a ton about that. Um, there's also, you know, we got another Venom First host post there. We got uh, Venom, uh, the Vietnam Venom story, which the more I think about, the more I'm not so sure about. Um, I definitely don't like the title. It's kind of, it's too, like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how the book turns out, I guess. Uh, we have Venom number five. Uh, that's coming out by Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman. Um and then uh, let's see, there's a, there's a lot of Venom stuff actually coming out. So a lot of this we've already talked about, um, so I won't get too much, I won't, you know, we won't take too much time here. Uh, but there's a Venom, like there's like a kid, there's a bunch of kids books. So if you have kids out there and you want them to read like a more family friendly, less intense Venom, uh, there's Superhero Adventures and you have Spider-Man and Inferno, who I think is an inhuman character, maybe. Um, is teaming up to fight Venom. And it's as you can see, it's very kitty like Venom jumps out and says, boo, it's drawn very cutesy. Uh, it's written by uh, Jim McCann, very, very good writer um, over at Marvel. And Dario Brazula is the artist on it. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then there's also Super Advent Adventures Deck the Malls, uh, which is a Christmas story, it looks like, set with uh, Venom as uh, the antagonist in it. And it has Spider-Man taking a Christmas present <laughs> in his hand. Uh, so I don't know if uh, Spider-Man's the bad guy there, or is he protecting the Christmas present from Venom? I have no idea. Uh, but so there's some, you know, young adventure, you know, young kid uh, stories, uh, if you have if you have kids out there and you want them to check out Venom stuff, uh, there's that. And then there's also this, which is interesting, Marvel Comics Digest. I don't know if I've ever read any of these. Apparently this is issue seven or eight, 
and it's on sale August 15th and uh, it says get them now only only one printing so it's the only time apparently whatever materials in here that they're gonna print it uh, and it has Mark Bagley artwork on it so I don't know if it's just like a collection of random Venom stories put into a digest form but it's Spider-Man featuring Venom um, so yeah I'm kind of interested in this I, I, I don't know what these digests are so maybe one of you guys can let me know down in the comments below of course they you know, talk it up like special collector's edition, you know, you know, collector's item only printing once, you know, I'm sure that's half true. Uh, but, uh, you know, you guys let me know what you think of it. If you've read any of those digests, let me know what they're all about down below. Uh, moving on to like toys and dioramas. We have here an image. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this stuff, but, uh, we have a statue of Venom. That's going to be, it's a PVC diorama, $45, uh, diamond select. Uh, so it's going to be good quality. I like those diamond select statues for 45 bucks. They're really great. They've done a lot of characters in the past, uh, spider Gwen and, uh, you know, buzz, Spider-Man stuff, uh, Iron Man, stuff like that. And yeah, this looks really great. And they even have a new Iron Man coming out, Mark 50 armor, uh, from the new Avengers Infinity War movie, which looks really busy. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. But yeah, these things are really great quality and for only 45 bucks. So in this one, you have Venom in mid-transformation. I think we've shown this on the show before. So that's why I'm not doing like high-res images. This is just something real quick that I can do for you guys. Um, there's also Marvel Mini Mates, which if you're a fan of those, they're like little Lego size people, but they're very articulated. You know, they have ball joints on their shoulders and legs uh, and they move around. They're doing a Maximum Carnage series, which is really cool. Um, and the whole series has Spider-Man, Black Cat, uh, Doppelganger, Venom, uh, Carnage, Demo Goblin, Cloak and Dagger, who have a show coming up this week. So if any of you guys get a chance to watch it, let me know. I don't have free form, but I'm thinking about getting it to check that show out. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then it, you get a Build-A-Figure with Shriek. So if you buy all those figures, the whole set, they each come with like an arm or a leg or a head, and you can put Shriek together to complete your collection. So those are cool. Those are only $9.99 each, and you get a two-pack. There's two characters in each pack. Um, so that's not bad. So for like 40 bucks, you can get uh, pretty much all the major characters of, uh, of uh, Maximum Carnage, minus maybe like Nightwatch and uh, and uh, Deathlock, I think, showed up in it, Captain America, um, and uh, Morbius the Living Vampire. Uh, and then last, we'll talk about they're doing the Red Goblin trade paperback. Uh, so if you missed out on the Norman Osborn as the Red Goblin uh, Carnage hybrid, you know, there's your chance to get the whole thing in one graphic novel. And then there's also going to be some uh, some trade paperbacks, uh, other trade paperbacks. We have Spider-Man the Epic Collection, volume uh, 18. And this basically has uh, the first appearance of Venom in it, issues 295 to 310. So you get the, you know, the first arc of Venom is in there around issue 300. Also the first appearance of Life Foundation and stuff like that. Uh, so all that is in this book. It's going to be $39.99 and it collects, uh, you know, those and the annuals. And those annuals have another, you know, Venom story, backup stories in those. So there's going to be some good Venom content in there, which we've talked about these on the show before so if you want to go back and watch my birth of venom trade paperback discussion video we talked about a lot of these stories on there uh, but if you missed that trade this is a good way to get those stories uh venom the uh, nativity uh, so that's the ending of the mike costa run uh, leading up to first host and all the donny kate stuff so there's that's coming out we talked about venom uh, shiver or you know the daniel way run this is the complete collection all 18 issues are going to be put in here for 34.99 not a bad price for that run so if you enjoyed our videos on that definitely check that out uh, and then here's where i get really excited tooth and claw which has not been reprinted uh, ever in trade paperback ever uh, they're putting that it's venom on trial venom tooth and claw uh, license to kill seed of darkness sign of the boss which is where venom meets ghost Rider the Venom Agenda, and Venom the Finale. These are like the last miniseries from the 90s that never been reprinted. And I think there's one other one they're going to do called Along Came a Spider, but that's going to come out in September. So this is great. I love that they're putting them all in one big graphic novel for 40 bucks. Uh, then again, Venom Digest, more uh, all-ages stuff. They're doing a $9.99 trade paperback of uh, Venom Adventures, uh, which I like that cover. It's cool. It looks like it's from uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, maybe. Um and uh or it looks yeah i guess ultimate spider-man uh and then there's the color your own venom so a lot of these we've talked about before you guys have seen you know me do episodes on these but at least now we have some images and now they're ready to order so you can order them at your local comic store uh there's the venom run by cullen bunn so we had the rick remender uh trades come out and now this is the conclusion issues 23 to 42 that's the, the entirety of the end of that series and that's 40 bucks again good price and it includes the minimum carnage crossover issues as well all of them so you get uh, not only like 20 you get like 25 books in here uh, which is a really good price so make sure you pick that up 
Um, and then there's Planet of the Symbiotes. They're re-releasing this because of the movie and because the movie takes, uh, you know, some inspiration from that storyline. And we're still trying to figure out how. Maybe the next trailer will show us. Maybe they'll reveal how that is at Comic-Con this year. Um, and then when Comic-Con comes around, I will definitely do countdown to Comic-Con videos as we anticipate more Venom movie news. And I know it's been slow right now, so we're going to dive back into comic book discussion videos. We're going to do Venom vs. Carnage, that miniseries. Uh, we're going to do the, the time Carnage got ripped in half and New Avengers and the Venom Bomb storyline, even though those take place years apart. I just wanted to condense them in one video because it's just going to be quick and, uh, and not a lot to talk about there, so it'll be a quick video. Uh, and then we're going to talk about The Last Testament of Eddie Brock as well and Venom, Spider-Man, The Hunger, where uh, we learned that Eddie Brock has cancer. So those are going to be the stories coming up. And then after we get through those, we'll get into the Matt Gargan stuff. But I decided not to pressure myself to get all this stuff done now. We're going to take our time with it. So we're going to talk, talk about those four comics coming up. And if, of course, any new movie mo news pop up or any like toy news or anything like that pops up, I will make videos on those. But count on Wednesday morning uh, or Wednesday night, whichever time I have to make the video, uh, count on our Venom vs. Carnage episode coming up next. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, let me know what you guys think of all this stuff in the comments down below. Thanks so much. Have a good one. See you in the future. Peace.